got to come over here. <laughs> We're on. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Welcome uh, to A Conversation With. And that's with me tonight. Here I am in London, and I have one of my wonderful all-time friends from many, many years with me, Sonia Dove. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Patrick. Hi. Sending Sonia. lots of love. Oh, Brett, tell everybody where you are. Well, actually, at the moment, I'm in a, a place in Mexico. I'm in um, San Miguel de Ande, and it's I live between Mexico and Los Angeles. Yep. And um, so I reside in Los Angeles like a good 80% of the time. But when COVID hit back in March, I uh, wanted to be in a small place, a small town. And I thought, it's only going to last a week or so. I'll, no one will miss me. Here we are, months oh. later. <laughs> oh, Sonia, yes. Sonia. Yes. I mean, and, I, mean I, I know uh, that you built yourself the most beautiful home. And after all your years of working so hard, I know that you and Nicholas now have a beautiful home in Mexico. That's right, isn't it? That is absolutely right, in Mexico. Where I actually am, I do want to say, is not my home at the moment. I am actually um, three blocks away from my home and I'm staying at a friend's house that is a very inspirational house and she invited yeah. us for the weekend. Well, it's a very traditional hacienda you're in, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. absolutely. And to all our viewers out there, to my viewers out there, uh, Sonia really is a huge fan of architecture. Uh, mm -hmm. Both Sonia and Nicholas, her partner, are incredibly creative. So their home that you have, Sonia, is just a celebration of who you are as a person. I oh, adore thanks. your home. Adore thank, it. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you very much indeed. Uh, hey, Sonia, listen, we've got a lot of people watching. And just tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your story. You're from the United Kingdom, aren't you? Yes, I am actually. I uh, was born in Manchester, but when uh, my when I was about two years old, my family decided to move down to what we call the English Riviera, um, yeah. which is Devonshire. And I lived most of my life in Devonshire and um, I went to hair trade school to get my license and worked in my own little salon. And um, that salon was literally one basin and two chairs. And literally, I've never been a planner, uh, Patrick. I've never been a goal setter. I'm, I'm the personality that takes each day as it comes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I've felt in the past that's not my strength. I wish I'd set goals. But sometimes I feel if you have too strong a goal, you've got this tunnel vision that sometimes you miss opportunities coming by. And um, mm -hmm. I think not setting goals has been my blessing, to be honest with you. Well, I also think, Sonia, that reflects very much in your education. We're going to get onto that more later on. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. think because you lead with your heart. And I think yeah. that is so obvious when, when we watch you educate. You, everything you give out is with passion. It's because you believe in it. And, yeah. it's, and it's who you are. So it's in your DNA, really, I think, to be like that, you know? It's absolutely true. And it's funny, I didn't actually get into hair because of hair. I'm in this uh, industry because of people. I adore people, absolutely adore people, Patrick. I yeah. find them fascinating. I love to help them grow, not just mm. with their um, industry, with their sort of craft, but as a human being, mm -hmm. when you can mm -hmm. see someone, heart grows and you read these things, mm -hmm. what you've done for people, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, there's mm -hmm. nothing like it. So so I have to say to my viewers out there, now mm -hmm. you understand why I love this lady. <laughs> now you understand why we speak the same language, because yeah, both Sonia do. and I are so heavily mm -hmm. invested in people, I think. Sonia, just tell us, what year was it that you went to the US, that you left the United Kingdom to the US? It was in 1996 and I yeah. had an opportunity uh, by an American couple that owned five salons and four hairdressing schools in mm. Texas. So Texas of all places, England That's to Texas. Right. They asked if we, uh, myself and uh, my partner would be, would head up the education for their yep. schools and salons. And they offered a green card and they, they said they'd do everything. And it mm -hmm. was an opportunity that I thought I'm going to give it a couple of years. I warned my family and uh, everyone did think we were coming <laughs> back, including myself. <laughs> I thought I was coming back. 
but then each year passed by it was like oh no no we're staying a little bit longer a little bit longer mm. and hence 2020 i'm still in the united states uh, sonia yeah, it's, it's yeah. A, it sounds so parallel to me i remember saying to my mum and dad i'm only going away a year well that was 33 years oh. ago you know so you're you're very much like me time yeah. flies i think you know yeah. and and yeah. i think when your when your career is blossoming as yours did you know mm. you were you were all over the us weren't you Yes, yes, I was very blessed. Uh, blessed. Uh, I've always been affiliated with the manufacturer, so it's been a little bit of a combination, like a tango. Um, I help them, they help me, um, things like that. So it's been, it's really been a blessing. Uh, it really has been. Now, Sonia, I, I think we've got some big hellos. Randy, can, are you are you able to well, give those out? They're, they're not. They're not big hellos, but they are hellos. We've got Pauline from, from Wellis. She's joined us. We've got about oh. 200 people with us. We've got Romania. We've got Greece. We've got oh. Poland. I don't know if anybody can hear me because of the microphone. We can, can you no, hear I can Randy? hear you. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we always get that, Sonia. We get so many countries coming in. And, and again, amazing. this is why I, I wanted them to meet you because I hail you. And now, Sonia, this is true. I hail you as one of the top colorists in the world. Uh, I know that you're, give us your title in the US. Tell us who you are in the US. Um, so in the US, I'm uh, a member of the Ultra Beauty Pro team. There's just five of us from five manufacturers, and we let, lead all the creativity for the brand Ulta. I'm also a Weller Global Ambassador. So I belong to a Weller Global team, uh, which you've seen many, many times, and we meet together uh, once a year to really collaborate mm. on new ideas and new innovations mm. that are coming up for Weller. I um, am part of Intercoiffure Education, so I'm an Intercoiffure member. And that's it, really. And then yeah. I work in the salon. I, I love I that. do work. That, that's it, really. <laughs> well, I, listen, sadly, your salon opened, and I think, almost a day later it closed, didn't it? Yes, it did. We were open uh, less than eight hours. Um, yeah. We just opened and then uh, round two of COVID came uh, to California. So still waiting. Um, mm. But what's interesting, Patrick, and I've been watching you a lot, is that never would I have thought from jumping on an airplane four times a week to being doing education and seminars shows you know the same yeah uh, i know but on a lesser that i would have thought that our industry could almost do this virtually and it seems to be working i tell you what the education side of things for me has been really taking a new life a new level whereas the salon side of things yeah it's I, hard it's very it's interesting, isn't it? Because I, mm. I, I, like you, I mean, I've embraced technology. I know you've embraced technology. Yeah. I know you're still very much out there doing your thing as I am. And, and I think it's reflective of our industry. It shows, yes. it shows the world that we adapt, don't we? We're, yeah. I think as creative people, Sonia, we adapt, don't we? Yes, we do. We absolutely do. Yeah. We do. And, and Sonia, tell me, out of curiosity, because people ask me all the time, Patrick, why is it that it's long hair that you do? Sonia, tell me, why is it that it's colour that you do? Well, actually, funny I mean, enough. I, I, I mean, I will I will say sorry to the viewers. Sonia yeah. is an all-rounder. She does style. She does cut. She does everything. But one of your, your biggest passion is colour, isn't it? It is. It is colour. Um, I do cut and style. And actually, um, on the Ulta Beauty Pro team, I do a lot of styling and cutting as well as colour. I like doing it all. Um, yeah. I am an A-type personality. So when I have a guest or a model and she wants a cut and color and style, I do find it very difficult to delegate. It's not my best trait. <laughs> Delegation is dreadful. But um, I think I've been more branded color because of my affiliation with Weller, the brand. Mm -hmm. And in the United States, they uh, wanted to put people to specialize. So I had a point in my career where they asked me to choose cutting and styling or color, and I chose color. Uh, so mm. I tend, the company branded me more of that 
And of course, Weller is a colour company as well as styling. So um, it was a little bit of a combination of both. But um, yeah. I'm not sure if everyone knows that I cut and style. I try to push it as much as possible. <laughs> you know, Sonia, it's like me. People think that I just do long hair, you know. But but yeah. really, I do I do cut and obviously I style. Uh, yes. One of the things for me, Sonia, is that, mm. uh, you know, being a, a world leader at doing one thing, uh, I, I do like doing the other. But of course people relate to you more if they know well this is what Patrick Cameron is all about or this is what Sonia Dove is all about you yes know? absolutely so, and, 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 and I've watched your tutorials I've watched you color over the years and just the innovative way that you bring color formulas to life and the combinations that you create and the placement that you create is very much you Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. You're saying such lovely things. This is the, probably the best Sunday I've had for a long time. <laughs> no, no, it's not. You know, I mean, to all the viewers out there watching, you know, this program, this conversation with uh, it was a real dream of mine to be able to bring people to oh, to this conversation. And and Randy, my, my husband said, well, listen, we can make this happen. So, mm. uh, you know, one of my very, very first person, the, the, the absolutely number one I wanted was you. Oh, question. gosh. You know, Patrick, honestly, earlier when you mentioned um, how you were saying some great things about me, it made me realise that it's I've struggled internally myself because I have I do have low self-esteem. I always think everyone else is better than me. And it's the people around me that have been my gift because I would not be the person I am today if it was just left up to me. I, re I really wouldn't. <laughs> and it's people like you that really like like attracts like well i yeah. i know that um because when you talk about me all i can think of in my head my god he's talking about himself <laughs> if only he could realize in a nice way you are mm. the way you educate it to me it never comes from here it always comes from here always mm. Really does. Oh, so, thank you, Sonia. I, I have always been a great advocate for more women in big oh. positions within our industry. You know, when when we look around the world, we we see these big stars within the hairdressing industry. We're so often looking at men, and and yes. I just I have always always been a strong advocate for women. And uh, and for me, you did a great combination recently in the US over the last year or two. I think you were five divas or what was that? What was that program oh, you were doing? Yes, it was called Leading Ladies. And, That's it, uh, Leading Ladies. Yes, Leading Ladies. And uh, a lady called Tracy Hughes had the original idea. And then um, my best friend in the world, a lady friend here in well, there in the United States, Candy Shaw put it together. Mm. And I have to say, it's a simple idea, but boy, Patrick, it sold out. Mm. It absolutely mm. sold out because so many women wanted to hear about the struggles of other women, yeah. you know, and some of their things that they found difficult and the audiences it just sold out there was oh, no listen. demonstrating it all yep. it was it was just speaking from the heart patrick it yep. was that yep. simple yeah and i can and i can remember saying to you sonia about a concept not quite like that but that concept of grouping together being a strong force for the industry mm -hmm. you know a and tell me if you could give some advice to a young hairdresser, a young girl starting out in the industry, what advice would you give that young hairdresser? Um, the advice I would give would definitely to always have a support group of friends around you. Um, make sure you're always um, like surrounding yourself with people that support you because sometimes when you're on your own, you mm. can have a bad day and sometimes you might just give up. But if you have people around you, and it doesn't need to be anyone in the industry, it's just friends that can say, hey, you just today, you can do it, you can do it, it's going to be fine. So definitely have a partner or friends that support you. Mm. Number two, don't lose sight of your dream. Really, mm. sometimes we get into the everyday um, run of things and we forget why we got into this wonderful industry. So don't lose sight of that. And the other thing is to always come from a place of love. 
you know, if you have that in your head, you're never going to seem um, egotistical or arrogant. And remember how you started. I remember how I started. It was like really, really little, really yep. little. I remember, yeah. it's funny, I remember at the weekends in Devonshire, I had to um, pay money um, pay uh, to go to school, to trade school. <laughs> and you would not believe what I did at the weekends. Yeah. I'm... So, I milked cows <laughs> in Devon. I love these stories. That's brilliant. cows in Devon. You cows know, in I Devon. A, I think a lot of tourists, a lot of hairdressers, would think, "Oh my gosh, uh, Devonshire teas, cows, yep. scones, the whole thing, isn't it?" Oh, Sonia, that's absolutely brilliant. I was. I, a know, I don't think anybody would know that, would they? No, you're the first person <laughs> I've ever said it to because you understand where Devonshire is. But it's and, that. And, and that also, Sonia, I'm a, I'm a I'm from a dairy farm, so I milked cows as well. Well, not not by hand, uh, and certainly, but it was my, the yeah, it's funny. Isn't wow, it? I you never and I both. knew that. Wow. Yes. It's, a, but, it's amazing. Uh, Go on. Yes. Sorry. No, it's a, no, but to someone's new and young in the industry, it's a very exciting time. I don't feel they should be put off with COVID or what's happening globally yep. in the world. I think they just have to come into it with a, just a new mindset, whereas it's mm. different for us. We were, we done one way of doing things and now we have yep. to shift to another but someone new yep. now they're coming straight in and yeah. the it, the opportunities are endless they are i mean i have a lot of colleges that choose uh, to my education and isolation every single every single week on a monday at 10 30 uh and a lot of colleges you know they were they were sort of saying the same sort of thing. This is a new time for them. And so this webinar concept and, and working so directly to the student as opposed to a student attending a seminar, they're now yes. finding that these webinars are really inspirational for that yes. individual uh, training, you know? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And Sonia, tell me, if you've been hairdressing for a while, uh, you know, again, what's the advice you would give a hairdresser? A, a, a sort of a, a hairdresser who's really looking at doing something very similar to what you're doing. What would you say are the things they should set out to try and emulate you? Well, um, there's an old saying that if you want to get um, to be something in life, to hang around like-minded people. So uh, um, either watch virtually people you admire that are doing what you want to aspire to do. Uh, number two is offer um, helping them. Now, that was okay before COVID, but I always would insist and say to people, put your best foot forward say i i'll pass you pins Cap patrick and or yep. i'll do something for you get in the action don't stay in the i wish i could start mm. to be act proactive about mm. it mm. and that can happen by mm. you dming someone could dm uh, someone they admire like an example if someone wants to get into the um, let's say Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, Paris, Milan, start following those hairdressers that do mm. that and DM mm. them. If you ever need me to be an assistant, I'm there for nothing. Mm. Put your mm. best foot forward. Mm. Uh, mm. And then it's just understand that you can't be a Patrick Cameron overnight <laughs> and you can't be a Sonia Dove overnight because I get that asked all the time. It took me, I, I've been hairdressing for yeah. 36 years thir or 37. So it's mm. not going to happen overnight. Mm. Sorry mm. to burst your bubble. Patrick, how long have you been hairdressing for? Oh, coming up near on 40 years. Wow, Absolutely. See, you know, see. so, so, so same as you, Sonia. I mean, it, mm. it doesn't happen overnight. And I think, I think you need to learn your craft. I'm, I'm always saying to young hairdressers or to anyone starting out. And Sonia, I use that word young hairdresser. And mm. that doesn't mean age because we get no. a lot of adults that come into our industry. And I know in America you do. So we get a lot of people joining us in our industry who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, mm. 60s. Mm -hmm. But you are a young hairdresser. And um, I'm always saying fashion's a circle. It goes round and round. You have to learn your craft. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Basics are the foundation of everything. In the world of colour, a lot of people want to do all these wild colours. I get DMs every day on colour corrections and everything. But the basis is the colour wheel. You know, yeah. It, yeah. it's like a house. You need a foundation, otherwise the house is going to fall over. And yeah. I think sometimes when we go to school, and I admit to that, I really admit to this, actually. When I went to school, I wanted to do a disconnected haircut, multicolored and all this. But yet, Sonia Dove could not even cut a straight line. <laughs> I and oh. I did not want to do roller setting and finger waving mm. and pin curling. And I used to think to myself, I'm never going to do any of this. Well, the last photo shoot I just did was all pin curls and finger yeah. waves. Yeah, so, no, no, it's incredible, isn't it? As I say, fashion's a circle. It goes round and mm. round. You absolutely have to learn everything, I think. Sonia, I love this. Oh, I love that. You've got the sound of a rooster in the background. Can you hear it? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so, what it is, this hacienda that I'm, that I'm in, and it's um, really, really uh, gorgeous. There's, there's the colours of the walls oh, and I, everything. Isn't that beautiful? But they do, they have roosters. And unfortunately, there is nowhere in the home that I could sit without hearing that. So I'm sorry. Oh, I love it. Because the, the whole house, doesn't it? The whole house opens out into a beautiful central courtyard. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. Oh, Sonia, you know, your success has been, and I've watched you over the years, you know, I've watched you become Sonia Dove. I right. truly have. I've, I've been lucky enough to see you evolve as the years have gone by. And, and what I love now is you're very much, you know, you, you are your own person. You know, I know that you talk about this lack of confidence and so on. Yeah. And I think naturally a lot, a lot of us do have those sorts of those those emotions, but I've watched you become a strong advocate for what you do. And, and that's incredible. And I think what's really nice with you, Sonia, you know, we may be not so good at many, many things, but we have yes. to believe that we're good at something. And I'm it's good true. at long hair. You're good it's at true. coloring, you know? And it's I true. think also when you teach with honesty, the way that you do, and it comes from your heart, I don't think anybody can take that away from you. Yeah, because I think everybody can see auth authenticity, you know, when someone's honest, someone's um, teaching that way, uh, it shows. I mean, I'm sure I've seen many people uh, on stages that uh, have come from more of an ego place, maybe. Um, yeah. So, yes, that's... Oh. And to be honest, Sonia, yeah. we've seen a, we've seen a few of those big egos, haven't we, Sonia? Oh, we have, we have. And to be honest, Patrick, I just do what I do, and that's all I do. Yeah. And it's the only way I know how to be. Mm. And the same for you. You as soon oh, as Sonia, and, yeah, yeah, we've and, and we've seen some huge egos, some mm. huge stars. And Sonia, where are they today? Yeah, that's you right. Know, you, you you burn bright, you but you know you can burn out. Now I've got my I've got Randy. You're you're saying things to me, Randy. I've got a, a big life in front of me. It's like looking into the dark. What <laughs> what, what are it, we saying? It, it's nothing really. It's just you, you and Sonia have, have gathered a worldwide audience. Oh please so tell got, us. So you've got India, you've got Goa, you've got Germany, you've got Italy, you've got Serbia, you've got right around the world and and they're all very warm but i thought i'd specially shout out for i think lorna from devon lorna from devon do you know lorna from devon no 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 but she, you were talking about devon oh you were talking yes. about devon were you oh, oh, oh devon. Sonia, you know this show is quite amazing. Last week, we, we did the show, when, when uh, this week, I should say, when you, sadly, you couldn't be with us on Wednesday. But we're, we're, we're having reaches of 25, 30,000 people are, are sort of tuning in to see. And, and so it is incredible. And I think what I wanted was I wanted the world to see who you were. Oh. I wanted that because oh. I, I, I know that you're in the US. I, I know that you're a Weller ambassador. I know that you are phenomenal but i wanted the world to hear you sonia dove from your heart you know oh my god you're gonna make me cry no no <laughs> i, no, I no, swear no. to you i swear patrick i um i've known you for a long long time and i've never 
felt anyone so rooting for me as you, honestly. And it really, it really warms my heart. And I honestly, I appreciate it so much. We've Aww. exchanged many messages together where you've helped me when I've been stuck. Um, and I really, really appreciate it. And I love this because people want to hear more about you i mean everyone yeah. we all watch your incredible upstyling and updos but to hear a little bit about more about you i was listening to you on wednesday when unfortunately yes. uh, i couldn't join and i learned so much about you when you're talking about new zealand and you're talking about your home it's like intriguing to people <laughs> It is. It, it is it is funny you know you live your own life sonia and you, and you know you don't think it's that interesting you think because you're so busy living it aren't you really yeah but what yes. i love as well sonia both you and i have great people in our camp we've got people like pauline Carnes, who's absolutely yes. incredible pauline yes. is a real advocate for both you and i andrew yes. dunn is incredible yes. if andrew's watching this uh always yes. supporting us on our on our social media side so yes. we 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 are very blessed, Sonia, that we have some amazing people who are surrounding us and helping us get out there, aren't we? Yes, we really are. We it takes a team. Everything takes a team, Patrick. You know, you talked it really about does. Yeah, you've got Randy there just setting this up beautifully for both of us. Thank you, Randy. And then you've got Susan that's been part of your business yep. for so many. It, it takes a team, but you know what? It's a like-minded team. You all are similar. Yep. You've all got the same yep. uh, dreams of life. So it's it's a perfect. Yep. It's perfect. You're right. I mean, I, I mean, I've been incredibly mm -hmm. blessed. I've got Susan Callahan, Marco Werby, Marco Everard, yep, Mark, you know, you. and and and. You know, it's been incredible. We've all been together for such a long time. But mm -hmm. Sonia, you mm -hmm. also have a wonderful gentleman in your life <laughs> called Nicholas, don't you? Yes, and Nicholas, I do. of course, is a huge creative in his own right, isn't he? Yes, he's uh he's a photographer. Mexico uh, what he did he did a photo shoot of the indigenous Indians about two hours away and he just showed yeah. me the pictures this morning oh my goodness so yeah. he it's funny because what I see with my eyes sometimes when I'm with him I see such beauty but Nicholas is his brain and in fact he doesn't know we were even talking about him <laughs> to you nicholas patrick just gave you a shout out uh, <laughs> and, and sonia says, yes sonia tell us about i mean is is there some is there a project that you and nicholas might work on together oh is there a project nicholas and i will work on together well actually I, it was a dream of mine before COVID, and I'm still going to do it. Um, as you can see by anything I post on my Instagram and Facebook, I am in San Miguel de Lande, which is central Mexico. It's in the mountains. It's not near the beach. And it is this beautiful UNESCO heritage village and town. And I am going to do small groups of people that travel here, like maybe five Mm -hmm. five maximum eight and i want to take them around town and we eat and drink and enjoy the cultures of san miguel and then the second day would be nicholas would do a photo shoot we would do an editorial photo shoot on the streets of san miguel because he works with the chamber of commerce so we can do more full body editorial shoots and wherever anyone gets inspired they can shoot in that area so it's like a photographic shoot and inspiration and then hands-on day um, with myself where i would help them create their models so like an inspirational retreat Sonia, I am super excited because you spoke to me about this quite a long time ago, but it was yes. nowhere near as fleshed out as you're talking now. So <laughs> you've really thought about it. I have. Some, oh, Sonia, the music to my ears, darling, music to my ears. I mean, you're going to do so well at that. And I think, you Thank know, you. it's all about moving forward, isn't it, Sonia? You can't it look is. back. You've got to go oh. forward. Oh, and, and, yes. You know, and I, I think I can only see that being a huge success, Sonia. Yes. A huge and success. 
I just cross my fingers that it involves flying um, and traveling. Uh, so just say, for instance, worst case scenario, uh, people can't travel, then it's going to make it important for Nicholas and I to think of a way of doing it, maybe yeah. virtually. I don't know how, but you never know. It's stretching oh. the mind. It is stretching the mm, mind. Sonia, yeah. could you just do a quick shout out your website, just so people can hook into that or your Facebook as well? Yes. So um, I, at the moment, I don't have a website. Okay. Um, yes. I'm. A D O V E. And they have a. Sonia, Sonia, just. Uh... Oh, I think we're starting to freeze a little bit here, aren't D -O -V -E. we? D-O-V-E. And yeah. then, oh, sorry. And then I have a oh. YouTube. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Sonia. I was just going to get you to do that again. We just froze yes. a little bit here. We so froze. just quickly do it okay. again. Yep. It's uh, my Instagram and my Facebook is Sonia yep. Dove, S-O-N-Y-A. A D O V E, like the bird of peace. And I have a YouTube and it's Sonia Dove Hair. And it's Brilliant. important that the YouTube Sonia Dove hair because Patrick, I looked yep. up Sonia Dove. There's a young lady, you won't believe this. There's a young lady from Russia. She's maybe yep. about 22. She has something like 5.8 million followers and she's a guitarist. So oh everyone. My and she's got exactly the same name as me. So that's oh, why that... I had to do Sonia Dove hair. Well, I think personally, you should pick up a guitar. So when they tune into you, they'll stay for a little bit, just thinking that perhaps you're going to do a tune. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. Hey, Sonia. Only you. It's, it's been, like, well, you know us. We'll always turn it to a positive, never a negative, won't we? You know, Sonia, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm thrilled that we could get to speak to you today. Absolutely thrilled. Um, you please give our love, Randy, and my love to you and Nicholas. We I will. Hope I'll one tell day, Nicholas. We hope one day we can get out to visit you and come and see your beautiful home. You would love it here. It's so it's so oh, easy to get to. It's so you would with. And the other thing, Patrick, it's yes. the number what is the number one destination in the world for wedding hair. Oh, in my the world. You, yeah, there's um, there's no less than, um, well, pre-COVID, there's yep. about 30 to 50 weddings every Saturday in this small town. <laughs> well, it sounds like I'll have my work cut out for me. You'll be busy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, as long as you colour them, I'll put them up. We'll be fine. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be the team. We'll be the team. I'm not quite sure what Randy's going to do. We've got Nicholas taking the photographs. And Nicholas I, can take it, pictures. Randy well, well, can film. Randy can film. That's what he can do. He can <laughs> film it. That's absolutely right. So listen, Sonia, the, the half, the 30 minutes has gone by so quickly. Yes, yes. It's, it's an absolute joy to have you on the show. And we're going to do it again. We're going to touch base please, again. Please. Yeah. And if you've yes. got any message, any message you'd like to give out to the United Kingdom way over this side of the world. Yes, um, I miss uh, my country very, very much. I really, really do. And just to everyone there, be um, be compassionate to everyone around you and um, turn around and give yourself a pat on the back. We don't give ourselves enough love. And you know what? We've just got to get through. We will get through this all together. And we are living a historic time. But there is a silver lining. Mm -hmm. There will be. Yeah, Sonia, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think you're absolutely right. You know, take the time to acknowledge each other. Yeah, and if you see a beautiful, yeah. and to my viewers there, if you see a beautiful head of hair walking mm -hmm. by you, whether it's a color, whether it's a cut, whatever, take the time to stop and say, I love your hair. I do it all the time, Sonia, and I know mm -hmm. you do it, don't you? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. It, it takes nothing to share a little bit of happiness yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and people appreciate it. People really and do. Guy, and also, too, guys, just remember before we head off, remember I'm live again tomorrow morning uh, with yes. beautiful hairstyle at 10.30 for Education and Isolation on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Sonia, do you think I should have my own television show? Oh, my God. I, we, everyone knows you should. That is the worst. Everyone in the world, there has to be a Patrick. Ka you do know that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You do. Oh, you sweet. Your well, that, well, personality. <laughs> you are a TV personality. Oh, that's so much fun. Hey, listen, my darling, I, lots of love. 
be safe. Yes. Yeah, stay safe. And, Thank you. Uh, and love to you and Nicholas. And we will see Absolutely. you very, very soon. Yes. Bye bye. Bye, Thank guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was great.